What if you're thrown into a brand new country? You have no work experience in the country. You also doesn't speak the local language quite well, and you're competing with a local candidate. And guess what? You still want to become a product manager. How hard is it? And today, I have a guest speaker where Yu Tong is going to share with you how she worked and lived in China through her entire life and career, and she had to move to Canada, start her brand new career, and eventually land a product manager job in Canada without any work experience in Canada. I believe this story is going to be so inspiring and packed with lots of advice to everybody out there who's interested in breakthrough and also move to a new country and also advance a career into a much bigger international domain. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product feature in Forbes that helps thousand people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we'll cover product management training and tech trends. Like and subscribe and check out new video every Tuesday. And today I'm so happy to have Yu Tong to join our channel about her journey and for someone who's in China and land a job in Canada without any work experience in Canada at all. So Yu Tong, can you quickly introduce yourself? Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Yu Tong from China and I moved to Toronto last year and I have five years of PM experience in the tech industry. And after four months of the job hunting in Canada, I'm excited to share that I just received an offer in the local company. So I'd love to share my story today with all of you guys. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Yu Tong, for joining us. You know, I've been very looking for an actual person, very excited to hear your personal story as well, because such a like inspiring story for everybody, because lots of people probably have similar experience saying, hey, if I move to a new country, probably will have lots of fear, feel like, wow, I'm so behind as a candidate. Is there any possibility for me to even land as good as the job that you had back in China? So now let's break down your journey very quickly. Yu Tong, as you mentioned, you live in China, work in China, and last year you moved to Toronto. You had to start a brand new career there. I assume your first challenge would be like the new culture shock, right? Can you tell us more regarding your challenges there? Yes, exactly. I think that the first biggest challenge for me is the language barrier. So when I moved to Toronto, I couldn't speak a full sentence in English. So you can imagine that how difficult for me to prepare for the interviews and the daily lives in a new country. It is crazy. So you mentioned that you couldn't speak the full language, full sentence in English at all yes. last year. Now you're speaking like this. That's a very fast progress. This is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, so how exactly you learn English so quickly, especially in a brand new country? Oh, I know I have to share about my experience. Mm, I think that for the English part, there is no shortcut. So the practice is the key. And uh, I think that uh, the lesson I told myself every day is that don't be afraid to make any mistakes. So as a shy person, as me, I use the gambling platform and I want to uh, recommend it about this because I attend the classes like five times per week. And that helped me become more confident and comfortable talking with the native speakers. And I think that it's also helped me to uh, be prepared well uh, with uh, like the interview process. Awesome. So you, man you mentioned attend classes five times per week. Are those English classes or you mean prime management classes? Oh, some of this are the English classes, but I can also like to send the requirements with my the native speakers, and, and they can also help me with uh, like to do the milking uh, together. This is awesome. So now let's talk about interview. And I assume there must be big differences between where you came from and also the Canadian market, especially you never work in Canada and you only work in China. Can you tell us more regarding how we conquer the interview challenges. Okay, uh, sure. Because actually, while I moved to Canada, I was not familiar totally with the um, PM, like the interview process in North America. I think it's, as you mentioned before, it's totally different from China. So at the very first beginning, I had no idea where to start my interview preparation. But I want to understand the PM interview um, process better. So I recommend using the YouTube channel to search for the resources smartly. And this is how I discovered about Nancy Lee's and channel and the PMA courses. And I think that after watching about a lot of videos, 
you can get a sense of what makes a good job framework and the performance during the interviews, and then you can learn a lot from others. And I think this is a good method for me to know better about the whole interview process in the North America. So can you give us some highlight regarding what discovered the key differences between Chinese company and a Canadian company when they ask you the same type of questions? Give us one of those examples. Uh, I think that um, this is the most interesting part. I think the biggest difference uh, is about the interview style. It's not about like the framework or the structure because in China, uh, I was used to treating the interview as a test. Uh, so you can imagine where the interviewer just asks the questions and then I directly answer it. But in Canada, after a lot of the uh, insights from our courses and the videos in the real scenario, I found that the interview feel more like the conversational. So the interviewers want to have the more interactions with you. So I think that is the key for us to improve about the storytelling skills. Don't make our answer too, too dry. Because at the very first beginning, I just give the answer too dry and everybody, they want to feel asleep. So I think that is a good tip for us to prepare for the job interview, especially in America, is to imagine this is a conversation just like your friend and uh, bring your stories to life. Make it interesting, short, concise. Yes. This is awesome. I also love that you discover PM Accelerator program and also our YouTube channel just by searching the interview questions database. Hey guys, I have a lot of interview questions and sample answers in my playlist. You guys can check out right here. I'm also going to link it in the description of the show notes. And you know, I can imagine even if you watch all those videos and also take our training, and I also believe that you also need to compete with the local candidate. As you told me earlier, that you are brand new to Canada and you might be thinking, hey, maybe I may or may not be able to even land the primary job in Canada. So tell us more regarding your thought process and how you really decided to only stay in the product management track. Okay, uh, actually before I moved to Canada, I also talked to with my previous colleagues and everybody I think feel a little bit doubtful about the chances, in, especially in, in the North American. Um, considering about that I don't have any education, local education, and a work experience. And uh, at that moment, I feel a little bit worried about how I could compete with other candidates. But here, I really want to encourage everybody who are watching about this video just to try to be confident and trust yourself. Don't give up and just to sell yourself. And I think the way that I improve about this part, especially for the mental part, led me to be more proactive. Because we all know that we, without the local education and work experience, actually every day I did one thing, is to reach out to the recruiter and hiring manager proactively on LinkedIn to introduce myself and express my interest in their company. And by doing this every day, I gain a lot of like the interview opportunities and eventually led my new job. Let's break it down further because lots of people knew it. They need to reach out to recruiters, hiring managers, but most of them do not even land an interview at all. Not to mention you never work in Canada. And as you mentioned, you never speak a full sentence. Like your English was actually broken at the time. So how did you have such a high success rate having so many interviews, including companies such as Lyft? debut interview opportunities all the way I believe you went to find out interview and lift as well so what's the secret sauce behind outreach to other people oh, okay I'd love to share about this part because at the very first beginning I still have no idea how to reach out to people that I even don't know them at the very first time so once I joined about the PMA and they provide a lot of like the use for template and teach me how to reach out effectively with all the recruiters and hiring managers and what we I need to do about like the 30 second elevator pitch and how to do the code message and how to find the like the alignment or some personalities with the people you want to have the conversation with. And then I know that how can I show my strengths, my interest and attract about the recruiters and then some like the interview opportunities. 
This is awesome. And hey guys, if you're not sure about what is 30 seconds elevator pitch, if for anybody who is interested in Prime Manager Accelerator that Yu Tong is taking, I'm also going to link it in the description of the show notes for you guys to learn more as well. Now let's change the gear a little bit. Given you talk about your strategies and contact recruiter learning so many interviews, let me ask you this important question. What do you think is the most important shift? that push you to the next level. Because lots of people have been trying, they're always a plateau and still never land a job offer, but you were able to make it happen with such a short amount of time, given you never work in Canada at all. So what's the most important shift that push you to the next level? Oh, well, I think that's the most important shift for me was doing a lot of mock interviews as you can. That had really helped me a lot. So every time before I had an interview, I did the mock interviews with a variety of people, such as with you, with Nancy, with my mentors in the PMA community, and with my friends and the other product managers, and even with my husband. Actually, he is an engineer, so I received a lot of feedback from all my from their perspectives, and then eventually optimized my answers. So, for example, as we mentioned before, while I preparing for the final interview with Lyft. Actually, I also reached out to a product manager on LinkedIn who had previously interviewed with Lyft and then I asked for the advice. And I think another important aspect for me is to recording my interview and reviewing my performance because you know that I'm not good at speaking in English. So that allowed me to identify some areas for improvement, such as my answers, my structure, and even sometimes I find that I missed some key points. I just didn't answer it directly. So I think that way can help me to improve about my answers and perform better in the interview. Oh, I even brought my answers in and other mentors for feedback and I received a lot of like the insights and that can help me to optimize my answers and perform well in the next time. This is awesome. I do remember you came in with your preparation for your lift final round interview. Say, hey, interview with this. What do you say? Hiring manager asked me why my answer is not good enough. Yeah, you literally put in lots of work. This is really like all the uh, hard work really get paid back. This is so impressive. And I also like to highlight a little bit uh, lots of audience are listening right now. And regarding not able to receive feedback and especially those constructive feedback because lots of time you guys are thinking, hey, what's going on? Why I don't get past interview? And you guys really need to think about how would you get constructive feedback and really learn what's the best methodology for you to upgrade your career and move to the next level. Because lots of time we just put yourself in a vacuum without constructive feedback, you probably just are wasting your time running around and missing lots of great opportunities such as Lyft and all those tier one companies. I'm glad you pointed this out regarding like, receiving lots of feedback from lots of people. This is awesome. Awesome. Great. Cool. So, Yutong, given you're starting a new job in Canada right now, do you have any advice for other people who want to get started with a product management career, regardless the breaking in or someone who wants to upgrade their career into maybe senior PM or direct level? What advice do you have for them? Okay. Thank you for this part. And uh, I think overall, the job uh, hunting market is competitive. But don't give up and just to be confident and passionate all the time. Trust yourself and sell yourself. And the last thing is that don't limit it yourself. If you think of something that you really want to do, just to do it and learn from the mistakes. This is awesome. I really love this. If you think you want to do it, just do it. This is awesome. Yuta, I'm so excited. This is actually packed with lots of sage advice and lots of inspiring stories. And that actually in- inspired me to work harder and help all of you guys to really have breakthrough. And thank you so much for joining us today for all the audience. And we have a lots of free training on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to have linked the playlist of the sample interview questions database for everybody to get started. I'm going to link it in the description of the show notes as well. For anybody who is interested in more hands-on feedback from me and my team, feel free to go to PM Accelerator website. I'm going to link it in the description of the show notes as well for you guys to learn more. If everybody find this interview very insightful, make sure to like and subscribe and comment on this channel. So very happy to have all of you guys join this journey and learn from each other. Thank you so much for joining me, Yutong, today. Thank you. All right. See you soon. The Dr. Nancy from PMSR.io. I'll see you in my next video right here.